charge! We are here again. We are back from the Emigrant Mall down at the bottom of the 5,600 feet overlook across beautiful Paradise Valley in Paradise Valley, Montana. Here oh we are. my God, what a view. <laughs> it's so magical up here that William likes to ride up that two mile hill. He does. Every, yes. every time he brings you. Oh, he runs up and down on <laughs> Every time he brings it. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll put William away here. Uh, boy, I, that's probably the shortest greeting to William we've ever had on any of our shows. And hey, folks, I really encourage you to go back and, and listen to some of our old shows. There's a lot of humor and there's a lot of truth. And I actually want you to understand how amazing astrology is. <laughs> William is an Aries and he likes to have his own attention. How do you know he's an Aries? Because I did his birthday. His birthday <laughs> is an in April. Okay, he's an Aries. Taurus riding an Aries. I don't think that would ever happen in the, in real estate. Hey, look, the only horse that could get up this driveway has got to be an Aries. <laughs> okay. Because it's all straight up. Would that explain why I have trouble riding him? Well, yeah, he doesn't have time to wait for your bull. <laughs> He's a Taurus. Arthur is a Taurus. You're scaring him away. He's my buddy. I know. Well, he's... Taurus bulls move kind of slow, and William wants to move fast. Oh, for God's sakes. Okay, here we go. (laughs) Anyway. Oh, now she's turning my horse against me. Oh, (laughs) never. I would never do that. All right, okay. So what are we talking about? Have we got a show for you we today? We do. Yeah. Today we are going to talk about, you know, did you see, hear about that Robert De Niro movie? Um, I haven't seen it That yet. he did on vaccines. I haven't seen it oh, yet. Oh man, he's I taking so much flack. Yeah, I heard he's getting a hard time for but it. But look around. How many people have ADD now and altruism and all these types of uh, brain disorders? I'm serious. <laughs> okay. It's really burdensome to me because I'm starting to think I'm a little ADD from that vaccine I had to take when I was like in third uh, grade. I'm not going to go there, okay? <laughs> <laughs> My brain does move fast and I got lots of things in there. Yeah, I would say you do have a lot of things in there. And I'm constantly filling it with things like, you know, I want uh. to... You're Hermes totally, Trismegistus. You are totally full of Stuff it. That now, true. that is my thing. Have you read his amazing book that is so hard to understand? <laughs> but Hermes, I love it. Hermes Trismegistus? Yeah, don't you know who that is? <laughs> yes, I do. Okay. Hermes Trismegistus. He is the master of masters, as as they've been called. In fact, there's a book out there called The Kabbalion. The what? Kabbalion. Spell that. Um... K-Y-B-A-L-L-I-O-N. You got to read it. Oh, this, it's public domain, so anybody can get it now. Just do a, uh, you know, do a search on it in your browser and bring it up. And what it is, is it is the listing of the hermetic principles. The Kabbalion is written by uh, guys called the Three Initiates. What's hermetic principles? <clears throat> Hermes. Hermetic. Hermes. No, I know. Coming just from Hermes, testing ergo, hermetic. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of um, 15 dimensions. Um, what? And, and quantum physics. Oh, there's like nine. There's Now, this is interesting because quantum physics is, is great. And, and and there are so many teachings that are involved with quantum physics and, and people that get involved in this. So these, if, if you read this book and you, you have kind of a scientific bent to you and you really want to kind of understand the workings in the universe... Check this out because it's got nine hermetic principles that have been identified as the laws that govern the universe. I'm sure there's more, but these are the the core ones. So, for example, the oh, I'll have to look it up on the extensive the Trek Upward Radio Show Research Library, aka the internet. Well, well, I'll explain while you're doing that. Okay, the let fact me go ahead that and since do that. I was a little girl, all I wanted to know is. The vastness of the universe, what made it tick, why it was so amazingly full of stars and planets, and, you know, my passion for just understanding anything and everything that was just below the surface of things, you know, I, I, I'm just, I can't, I can't stop. That's, I think that's why I'm reading, you know, things like Hermes uh, Trismegistus. Okay, so, so. The hermetic principles that are at the base of, of everything that's in, in vibration, that's the spiritual and physical, 
because they talk about the physical plane, the mental plane, and the spiritual plane. Yeah, the four lower bodies. <clears throat> yes, yeah. which we know is also the four lower bodies, but the one that's missing is the emotional plane. Here. Right. But but uh, so it's not a full teaching. But the Hermetic principles, principle of vibration. Right. So that's motion is manifested in everything. Right. Right. Principle of polarity. So that talks about everything is dual. So it has two poles, male, female, mm-hmm. hot, cold, right. whatever. Okay. Black, white. We talked a little right. bit. Principle of rhythm. So that says that everything is a measured motion. In other words, a to and fro. It's like a Cycles. S- pendulum swing. Right. So if you can think of it like a pendulum. All right. Principle of cause and effect, which we know as. Yeah. Free will. Cho- uh, 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 what do we know it as? Karma. Karma. The golden rule. Karma. Is cause effect. You know, my mom used to stuff this down my throat every are, day. Are you serious? Whatever you. She knew about this stuff? Oh, the Golden Glove rule. She wanted me to memorize that and become it. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Well, that's a principle of cause and effect. Right. Because whatever you send out is going to come back right. to you. And we know that as karma. So karma can be negative or positive. She also said anything the mind can conceive can be done. And she programmed right. me with this. All right. Now. She's a true Aquarian. Oh, this is so good. You're okay, going to love this. Go. This one. You ready? The next one. Bruce Jenner. The principle of gender. So what that is is a perversion of the principle of gender. You realize that. Yeah. So the principle of gender embodies the idea that gender is manifested in everything. So male female have their role to play that's right to be to beget to procreate to generate to create or to produce so it's manifested as a masculine and feminine principles there we go we just solved the bathroom problem in north carolina there it is you know it that's is. all the people need to understand if you were given a male body and your psychology says oh god i like females better or i feel like i am a female inside um, just kind of look at the physical body and go, okay, I'm on schoolroom earth. It's physical. So what I've been given is what I need to learn to work with. That's where my karma is. And that's what I need to balance. Correct. So basically what learn that... how to be a male, learn yes. how to be a female. If that's a... the body you got nothing against you. Cause this is like, you know, the it's, we're talking about the deed, not the soul. Okay. okay so these are the laws that are governing yeah, laws. the universe. Exactly. So if you take a stand against those laws, those laws are going to work back against I know, you. and it hurts. Okay, so think about it. Well, we're all 60-42 anyway. No, oh, actually 60-40. 60-40. <laughs> Some, well, I, I, think in, I think that's the general rule. So, right. But I think, like in Bruce Jenner's case, you know, I, I, I really think that he's been a female. In his past life. Has, right. So he probably leaned a little bit more than that mm-hmm. and, and is trying to figure out how to deal with the male energy. So... And Folks, it's making him crazy, so yeah. he goes and has surgery. Good God. Yeah, well, there's a lot that's out there. This, it's this... so confusing. Okay. When nobody tells you the truth, you get confused. You get locked into these ideas and these lies. Right. And it makes you do things that you would not normally do in a more Hermes Trismegistus moment. Okay, so think about this. These these are laws that were released by Hermes Trismegistus, who they believe is the great one that, that understood this. So that principle of gender now being violated in transgender movement, Mm -hmm. it is a violation of that law. So what do you think is going to happen when these people... Nuclear war. Nuclear war. Well, it's it's weird. Because it's sacred fire. It's the misuse of sacred fire. Yeah, but it's also the fact that these souls... What's sacred fire? Sexual energy. You misuse sexual energy, you're going to attract a nuclear war. Yes. And, And... or some other kind of problems. Because it's the laws things. of energy. It's all energy. Nucle- nuclear stuff is energy. Yes. Only it's synthetic built. Yes. But the sexual energy is, is, it all destroys or creates. So in the case of the transgender thing, they may have to take embodiment again yeah. and still back in a male body. No kidding. You see what I you mean? you got to come back. You don't want to come back here. You want to graduate, guys. Because it's all about balancing don't the laws. make the bad free will choice like me. I'm working on it. I am not going to do this much longer. I'm, you know, I'm graduating this time. If it's the last thing I do, I hope <laughs> I'll appeal to someone. But you know, they gotta let me out of here. Okay, so we've been down here for a long period of time. That's why you have a to appeal. A million years or more. We have to appeal to people that? that have made it, which are the ascended masters, who are the, our brethren who have graduated from our schoolroom. So they have the momentum because they've made it, and we can call to them, and they can help pull, pull us, us up. up. Yeah, you know, because we have momentums that have pulled us back down. I want to go home. I yeah. want to go home. I, there's no place <laughs> like, like home. There's no, there's no place like home. There's no place like home. See, you know those ruby race. I mean those ruby slippers. That, that explains had. the ruby race slippers in your closet. <laughs> <laughs> I heard about those. 
Yeah, I never wear them. You don't. Yeah, I, I, I think the day that they're going to take me back home, yeah, I get to ascend. I'll put them on. Ruby Ray. Yeah, Ruby. They're Ruby, Ruby slippers. Ruby slippers. Oh, we should we should say something about that. I have Ruby slippers. Okay, Ruby. The path of the. Oh, now you're getting deep. This is this is. Heavy <laughs> I love duty. to get deep. This I is, love it. This is heavy duty metaphysical stuff. You have a threefold flame. We've talked about in your that. heart. In it's your in your heart. heart. Right. Pink. Blue, blue and yellow. I yes. am a threefold flame from the heart of God. Everywhere I radiate to love and bless and serve. I am pink. I am blue. I am yellow. And around me, I am white. <laughs> you have to become a kid, you know. Yeah. Child. Child. Like, innocent. No worries, for your sir. inner senses. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to... Sh- Oh, uh, that's yeah. it. I'll never sing again. I'm sorry, you guys. Oh. But singing oh. is so fun. It was so cute. That's okay. It's very pure. Okay, right. go ahead. All right. Three full flame. Yeah. Purity. Right. So there is something called the path of the Rose Cross. Yeah. You ever heard of the Rose of Prussians? I love, yes, I and have. So that is Good the stuff. path of love. Yeah. Right. So. But not that ooey gooey, sympathetic, yucky love. No. no. It's, it's profound love. Right. This is the love that protects the children, you know, by a mother is protecting her children from being attacked. This is the love that raises the light up and brings forth goodness and sweetness and light to the entire planet. Takes death and turns it in. Yes. Yeah. And, and this is the, this is the ruby that takes the moon and puts it under the feet of the divine virgin. I mean, so, so the path of the rose cross or the ruby is actually... All the tests of love, which was demonstrated by the Ascender Master Jesus, yeah. which was also demonstrated by the Ascender Master Gautama Buddha. And many and saints. And so on, and many saints. You know, almost every saint that I've ever read their life of has saved the life of someone. Somebody died. Really? And they literally, like Jesus saved, you know, he brought put light bad in, into the body and they came back yeah. to life. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because he had the momentum and, and the ability the, to be able to utilize these laws. In divine ways. Right. Except you become as a child, you'll never see the higher realm or the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom is the crown chakra or where that st- soft spot is in your head. And you can follow it up that that tunnel. You've heard of the tunnel in near-death experiences, right? That tunnel? Yeah. In fact, my dad and my mother both um, uh, reported to me um, that my mom had a near-death experience. And my dad was, my, was about to make his transition reported on the tunnel. Well, that tunnel is like... If you put your hand up on the top of your head, especially with little babies, you can feel it and see it pulsate where the light goes in. That little tube, uh, it's like a tube or an umbilic- umbilical cord that's more um, unseen. Etheric. Yeah, un- unseen, etheric, umbilical At this cord. level, we're at a really dense Goes dimension. down through the top of the head, comes down the back, goes up right. to the heart and Spine. beats the little... Three full flame. Three full flame. So when you get that tickle in your heart, your three full flame is going, yes, do it, do it. <laughs> If you don't get a tickle in your heart and you get it in the solar plexus, don't do it. Wow, this has been very metaphysical, this yeah. show. You realize that? Hermes. Yeah, Hermes. Hermes. Yeah, I love Hermes, the teachings on Hermes. Mm-hmm. So what it all boils down to is whether or not you want to be in alignment with those laws of God or don't. So when you take the step by your free will choice to get away from it, the law is going to work against you. True. When you do in the favor of it, the law will work in your favor. So Karma, do whatever. you want to others right. as you're to, you know, and think about well, how rule. you would feel if someone did that to you. Yep. If it, if, if it doesn't feel good, you better not do it to them. Exactly. Um, yeah. I mean it. So that, so the deal is that's it. You either work with the law or the law works against and you. Forgive people. Give them a second chance. Give them a second chance. We all have errors. We all have no problems. No kidding. I got a second chance actually this weekend, which was really nice. I'm so. Yeah, I was, it was good. <sighs> Okay. So I, I appreciate that. Thank you very much, guy. All right, well, you wow, know. Wow, this is heavy duty hey, stuff. You know, if you want to know more about I'm the galaxies and the universes, please contact me at astrologygeneheart.com, 406 What? Astrologygeneheart.com, 406 Please call me because I want to do your chart. You will love it. And, the, and you'll want me to teach you how to do it because and the number in New when Jersey you know is. your cycles, like Hermes Trismegistus knew his cycles. You know, you got game. What's that number You got again? game. What's you that? want game. Oh, she's on a roll. What's your number again? If you don't know it by now, I'm not telling you. Come on, one more time. Yeah. 406. 599. 599. 39. 34. 34. You can text me. Prophecyisgiven.com. 
Yeah. <laughs> okay. We didn't even do any prophecy today. Oh, and you know, our next show is going to be on what is happening. Mars, yes. Pluto, retrograde, what's yes. happening in America, yes. and the astrology scary. and some predictions for you. So please tune back in. Yes, it's scary and you need the science of the spoken word to counteract it. The trek upward is worth the it effort. Right. <laughs> I'm going to eat. Me, me and William are going to leave. He's We're going to get eat. I'm hungry. Okay. All right. You want a carrot? <laughs> Give it to the horse. I was thinking something more beefy. Yeah. <laughs> like I'll make you dense. Turkey burger. Clog up your third eye. Oh, it keeps me grounded. That's Otherwise, true. I'm a yeah, you love way up there. That's how you got here last show. You love it. I did. <laughs> okay, bye, guys. Bye. Visit our website at thetrekupwardradioshow.com or stop by on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash trekupward. And be sure to hit like on our page. Or visit YouTube and search for the Trek Upward Radio Show. Be sure to subscribe so you do not miss another episode of the Trek Upward Radio Show. The Trek Upward Radio Show is a Studio at 5,600 Feet production.